Hello, and welcome to reading lesson for today. We are going to go over something for currents for kids, which is a little bit different than what we have done in the past. Um, but overall, it's quite similar. Okay, so first of all, um, okay, the expectation. Okay, I've made a new account. So this is my Sparky character. Sparky is now... Sparky is now going to be reading Currents for Kids, too. So Sparky read, um, Sparky read this one, which was Keep Your Distance, okay? Did the on the lines and the between the lines and responded to the story, okay? So I'm just going to give some points right now. This is for people who responded to the story, okay? If your name is not highlighted, the expectation is that you go back to do this, okay? So you guys, I'm going to say writing task done. Okay, now, um, okay, this is the new thing for today, okay? When you go to your Currents for Kids, you're going to see that I have made comments on all of the writing that you have done. And I don't know if people have seen that because I kind of feel like I'm repeating myself saying, please remember to rephrase the question or please remember capitals, please remember periods. So what we're doing today is I'm gonna show you this, okay? So you go to your currents for kids, okay? This is the homepage, okay? This will be the one that we're gonna be doing today, but I'm gonna talk about that later. So you go up here to dashboard, okay? You click on dashboard. Then it's going to bring you into this section that says your responses, okay? Um, and I would like you to read what I have written. So this is what Sparky did. I think this is bad because COVID is really bad and we must do what we can to stop it spreading. Okay, this got a two out of four, which basically is kind of like a D, okay? Um, so a two out of four, yeah, would be like a D level response. A three out of four would be hovering between like RA and CA. And then a four out of four would be an E level. Okay, so you're trying to shoot, of course, for the E level. And this is like really just like, it's not really that much thought. It's just, um, it's just showing that you have the ability to correctly respond to a question with proper punctuation, grammar, spelling, and then extension of your own thinking, okay? So um, if you go in here, okay, so good. You have accurately included the important message of this news story to improve the depth. Okay, I have to add two to three more sentences in total, okay. So I'm gonna go to edit, then it brings you back to the original page, okay? Then you're going to do a little bit of editing. Okay, so I think the most important, okay, the most important, actually, you know what, let's do this instead. I think it's, let's do this. It is, okay, let's do this. Underneath, let's do revision. Okay, then if you want to copy and paste, you can. So let's do this. Copy, you can highlight the whole thing, then you can press two fingers copy, then go underneath, and then you can press paste. Oh, command V, okay. So control V, there we go. Okay, you might have to do that. You might, it depends on your computer. You might have to um, press command V on your keypad. Okay, I think the, the most important message communicated in this article is that we must stop the spreading of COVID-19 period. Reason or methods to do this are easy and do not take that much time yet will have a huge impact on the health of blah, 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 okay? There we go. Then I'm gonna delete this. Okay, so health of 
myself and my family and myself, family and community. And entire community. Okay, maybe you feel like I'm happy with that now. Then I'm going to pr press review. Okay, perfect, great. It's responding for review. Okay, excellent. So, um, okay, ah! Okay, um, anyway, I hope that that makes a bit more sense, okay? Then the next part, so that's kind of step one for today. Then the next part is, okay, going into here and then doing the um, lead by example, okay? Same thing, you need to click on it, and then you have to do on the lines, between the lines, and then respond to the story. You can choose any one of them to do. Okay, um, hopefully that makes sense for everybody. And, okay, I'm just gonna quickly show um, DR's response because he was somebody who got an E on this. So I just wanna show you kind of thing, um, what kind of counts. Okay, so here, this is what DR said. In my opinion, the longest spring break ever isn't that great because I had a lot of plans for my spring break, such as my birthday. And I was planning um, this for months, waiting for my birthday to come. I miss going outside running with my mom and I miss the smell of the outside because all I'm doing is sitting in a chair all day. In a way, it is sort of good because I, um, because at school, I get to pick my own schedule instead of having to follow one. I also have more time to catch up with my friends and family in Canada and I'm also becoming more creative because I have nothing else to do. Um, I talk to my mom and dad whenever I want and ask them for help in something. So overall, I think it is somewhere in the middle. Okay, lots of really great personal responses to that one. And um, yeah, and DR did a really nice job of that. There's like, you know, there are a couple maybe little edits here and there, which he can go back to do. But overall, that was very high, um, very high quality. Okay, so that is it for your writing part of your lesson today. Um, sorry, for your reading part of your lesson today, which kind of involves a little bit of writing as well. And then the next video that I'm about to make is about your um, writing task for today, which is kind of cool. So see you soon.